Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another brand new episode of Fisher Online. And today I am in the Caspian Sea in Iran. And today I will be going for Sturgeons. It has been a very long time since I've gone for Sturgeons. And since the last time, guys, there's been so many changes. There's been fighting mechanism uh, that we have now. And Sturgeon strengths, I think, have been reduced. So I think we should be able to catch a lot of sturgeons easily or easier than before. Not only that, guys, but the best thing is, whoops, uh, mollusk pieces are now down to 23 silver. I bought like 70 plus, I bought 80 or 90 pieces at 23 silver per piece. Last time I fished for sturgeons, guys, here on stream, I remember they were about 75 silver per piece. Uh, so if you want to go sturgeon fishing, I think now is the time. And as time goes on, this price is going to drop even more. Now, <clears throat> my first two setups are a bunch of sea clam. I'm using the sturgeon feed you can buy from the store. And then I've added my own green mollusk, mollusk pieces and chopped mussels. Okay, so two of my setups are like this. My third setup will be just spin fishing. I will be trying different lures and stuff. Uh, the spot I will be going to is D as in dog nine. And I will be fishing here. And uh, let's see what we can get today. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, comment below. And I will see you as soon as I uh, get to the spot. Okay, <clears throat> I waited quite some time. Uh, definitely a very slow buy rate. As you can see, I don't know what time uh, the last recording was at. It was around midnight, 2300 hours, I think. And that's 2.30 a.m. But we finally got a sturge, so let's see how much, how big this guy is. You just got to make sure you're standing up and doing the pumping technique that wears the sturgy out. So hopefully we don't get spooled because this boat is really bad when it comes to doing anything. Um, I cannot follow the sturge in the in this boat because it's a three rod boat. Only the two rod boats you can actually put on trolling mode and follow the sturge <coughs> or other fish. Uh, so this is going to be interesting. We still have a whole lot of line here. He might be tiring out actually. Could be wrong. He's not going to lift the rod without it taking line out. But he's still taking line out. So, <laughs> uh, let's see how it goes. A bunch of uh, clam, bunch of muscle pieces, or whatever the heck they're called, bunch of muscles, is what you're gonna have to craft. So you need PVA material, you need fish pieces, and you need muscles. Make them yourself, cause in the marketplace, bunch of clams are super expensive. They're like, what, 170, 180 silver we just saw? Not worth it. Uh, PVA, you can get 100 pieces of PVA material for, what, 100 silver? And fish pieces are literally free. Every non-marker crappy fish you get, you just chop it up. Mussels is really the only expensive thing, which, I, like I showed you guys, is 23 silver right now at the time of this recording. By the time this video makes out, uh, it might even be lower. As long as people keep uh, putting up pieces of mussels on the marketplace, it prices should go down. When people give up because there's too many pieces, that's when uh, supply stops and demand is still there and prices will go up. Wow, well, we already got the sturge. Okay, let's see. 20 kg, I hope. I hope it's bigger. I hope it's 40 kg. But uh, that was a short fight. Let's see what kind of sturge it is. 
Are there Husos here? I forgot if there's Husos here. I know there's Starry Sturgeon. I was looking at the weeklies. And if, you know, a few other Sturgeons, but I don't, I don't know if there's Huso. Don't like the Huso. Huso's way too big. Almost half this guy. It doesn't look too big. Sorry. Large Persian Sturgeon. 21 kg. Okay. I like that a lot. Now, when it's 40 kg, what will happen then? <laughs> that, what, that's what's getting me worried now. Uh, 21 kg. I'm happy with that. Let's just throw this. Make sure your rod is facing as far up as possible because when it touches the ground, 19 meters, when you put the rod on the holder, you can see how the rod faces up. That's why you always want to hold the rod as up as possible. Since it was nighttime, I decided on my third rod to put fish pieces rather than do spin fishing because I don't think I'm going to get anything on spin fishing. So once it's morning, that's when I'll start spin fishing and just get additional fish while I'm waiting for these sturge. Uh, let's see if there's huso here. Yes, there. Oh my god. What? 256 kg huso? 190 kg? Oh my god, I do not want that fish. That's going to take too long. We have regular sturgeon, 75 kg. We have huge sturlets. Dory sturgeon. It's just the coolest looking sturgeon. Uh, we have ship sturgeon. Very cool looking as well. Uh, the huso. Did I miss the sturge? I feel like there's one more sturge that I'm missing, but maybe I got them all. Sorry. Uh, I'd love to go for a Welsh catfish. Look at that, 55 kg fiber tail or a bunch of giblets. If you know where the where the catfish are, the fat cats, please let me know. Really want to go after them. Oh boy, we got another one. How big is this going to be, and what fish is this going to be? It's going to be fun. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to fight this and uh, once I uh, get it closer, I'll uh, I'll see you then. Okay, so this guy took uh, <clears throat> a little bit over half of my line. But not that much of a fight anymore. And I think uh, if he was any stronger or any bigger in size, I think he would have probably spooled me. Which means I would have had to move the boat. Uh, my second rod also has something on it, but nothing big because nothing is spooling it. That looks like a huso. But it's been a very long time since I've sturgeon fished, so I don't know. Ooh, 34 kg Persian sturgeon. Okay, not that big, but uh, I'm liking this. Like that 34 kg might have been 5 minute fight maybe. Alright, so this... Sadly, is a small one. Or maybe not. Maybe it was just waiting for me to pick up the rod before it started to spool me. And I like that. I like that a lot, actually. While I was fighting the other fish, like maybe a minute later, 30 seconds later, I got a fish on this one. And I was like, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. With the morning come all the sturgeons. Nighttime and no sturge. Morning time, hot damn. Ow. Sturgeons don't care about time. They eat whenever they want. Unless I'm wrong here. But we're getting all Persians. Let's see if we can change it up. Let's see if we can get something else. I almost have this guy. Ooh. It has a sharp nose. Maybe a starry or a ship. Uh, I think... Uh, it has a pointy nose. No. 
Just a regular 10 kg sturge. Put this down. And my bag is almost half. Half full. That's the thing about sturgeon fishing. You need, you know, the big fat fish bag. But uh, honestly, guys, your base is like over there. It's not really that far, you know, and you're not paying for boat tickets, which is so annoying. Uh, this one, it's you, you can actually pay attention to fishing and not worry about other stupid mechanisms of uh, being a free to play game, you know? Uh, that's why it's just it's so good. Here. Alright, nothing big. We are getting this guy as well. Nothing on fish pieces, although, you know, it's morning time. Maybe in the afternoon we might get something. But I'm going to go ahead and try fishing, uh, spin fishing. Because uh, with all three bottom feeding rods, this is a good uh, alt tab kind of a spot until morning time. That is morning time. It's just nonstop. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, what is this going to be? I hope it's bigger than 10 kg because it just feels bigger. Ooh, yikes. That's very small. 11. <laughs> okay. It is bigger, uh, but 10 and 11 kg sturges are absolutely not worth it. Even though we spent, you know, only 32 silver on the ground bait. The, the muscle mix I made, the ground bait I made is very expensive. You know, 32 silver muscle in there, plus a few other mus minced muscle and all that stuff. Okay, this so this is a, a big one. I will see you guys once again when I have this one almost tired out. Alright, this one's toast. Not much of a fight. Uh, he didn't take on much line, even though he did spend, you know, a few minutes fighting. That looks like a regular sturgeon. Let's go ahead and get him in here. 21 kg. I'll take it, I guess. Uh, let's go ahead and check our bag and see what we have. Okay, so in a matter of minutes, we just got back-to-back -back sturgeons. 21 kg, 34 kg, 10, 11, and 21 kg. We have Persian sturgeons and regular sturgeons. We are 100 kilos out of 150 kilo bag weight. I'm going to take these fish pieces out and start spin fishing and see how that goes. Well, guys, I just took out and casted my spin fishing setup. Boom, another sturge. Wow, these sturgeons are insane. I don't know if this is plain RNG because sturgeons can hit any time. Or if it's just morning. But I'm getting nonstop sturge. And this one seems very angry. I might need to turn the boat on. And just, just slowly follow this thing. I don't know. I'm going to keep fighting. All right. The guy's tired out. Um, he went from the right side to the left. He didn't really swim away from us, which is really good. So he took less than half a line out. Another Persian by the looks of it, I guess. 30 kg large Persian sturgeon. Very, very, very nice. Holy moly. It's been just intense down here. As soon as I put this rod down, I feel like uh, we're going to get another sturge on. Because I haven't even had the time just to spin fish like this. Uh, so I think we might be able to catch another sturge. Uh, and then we will go back and sell our stuff and see how much we've earned. Uh, I honestly think I've only spent at the very most 45 minutes here. From introduction of uh, this video to, well, right at the spot right now, uh, me talking here. I think it's only been 45 minutes. As always, I just never keep track of time in this game and the game does not tell you. Uh, which is why it's always hard for me to do like an hourly average in this game. 
So, uh, I might not even get a chance to spend fish because these sturge are so crazy here. Alright guys, I had a huge sturge on. It took out majority of my line as soon as I started moving the boat. Uh, there's too much slack on the line, so I guess the sturge uh, hooked off, unfortunately. Uh, so I recasted my rod and instantly I got another sturge on. This one's not that big, maybe 20 kg. Uh, but as you can see, I just hooked on my other rod. Uh, and it's pretty darn big. But I just don't have the space for it. This is going to be our last sturge. I don't know if I can keep that one. So, man, this sturge area, guys, is still really insane. This entire deep area. Anywhere you can cast here. And you know what? Honestly, you don't even need a ground bait. You can just put your lucky ground bait. And you should get the same results, I feel like. Ooh. Starry sturge, 30 kg. Hot damn. 160 of 150. Oh man, that sucks. That sucks, we can't keep the Sturge. No. You know what, I will throw away my 20 kg. My 11 kg Sturgeon. And that should give us enough. That should be like 149 or 150. If I can net this guy in. If I tire out this guy rather, and right before I net this guy in, I will throw out that 11 kg sturgeon because it's not going to be worth much. If this is a 20 kg sturge or 30 kg minimum, I'd rather take this, obviously. Uh, but yeah, with sturgeon fishing, that's the only issue. <clears throat> Besides the long fight and, you know, getting spooled like I'm about to. You know what? Let's try it out. I'm going to do this. Get up here. <clears throat> Man, he's still going even with the boat in reverse. Should have reversed the boat at a faster speed. I'm still gonna get spooled. But I don't want to put the boat in too much reverse. Because uh, we're gonna catch up to the sturge and we're gonna overshoot it. And then it's gonna be even harder. Damn. Thing's a beast. What is this thing? Okay, we're catching up to it. Right, I'm gonna keep fighting this. I doubt I'm gonna be able to get him. But let's see. Alright, so we almost got this guy again. This guy's gonna be like 20 kg maybe. Let's just go ahead and... Uh, Drop. Okay, I hope I dropped the right one. <laughs> we just dropped the 11 kg. We couldn't chop it up either, I think, because it's way too big. I wish we could. That would be pretty sweet. That would be like 20 fish pieces. Alright, let's see how big that this guy is. I hope it was worth it to throw the other guy. 30 kg large Persian. Yes! Oh, man. Yeah, I traveled all the way from here, all the way down here, following this guy. Look at this. 21, 34, 10, 21, 30, 30, 30. We have lots of Persians. We have a regular sturgeon, and we have one starry sturgeon. Cool beans. Let's go ahead and go back here. Look at that. All right, let's sell our fishies. 1,567 silver in less than an hour. Oh, man. That is amazing. Look at this. Even this crappy 10 kg sturgeon, guys, is 66 silver. That's double. That's over double uh, the price of the muscle we, uh, we paid for. But you know what, obviously, like, we also spent money on the ground bait, so let's make it, I don't know, 40 silver, maybe? Or 50 silver? We're still breaking even with the 10 kg. And as you can see, 30 kg, 20 kg is, uh, is very common here. So that is a big score. This spot is still amazing. 
Uh, I wish we had a bigger bag. I wish we had more. I wish we could have a bigger line. We have 200 meter line on this guy. But these sturgeons take out 200 meters in a moment. Crazy. I have 16 professionalism on this one. I have 16 professionalism. I have... Wow, I have more than 16 professionalism on this rod. I'm going to be... What, 17? Oh, this is the sea caster goal too. Wow, I wish I could have 52 kg bottom feeding rods. I don't know what the biggest bottom feeding rods or reels are, but... Um... <clears throat> That is just insane. Records, let's go ahead. Ship sturgeon. No. A starry sturgeons. Look at this. 45 kg minimum. I did not even come close to any of these people. <laughs> Regular sturgeon. 49 kg. That's insane. Oh wow. It's just one guy fishing. Look at this. This Chinese guy. 175 kg. 50 kg. 49 kg. Oh my god. Yeah, he's just, he's at the starry sturgeons too. I don't know how long he's been farming these sturgeons. Like he's literally sitting here for literal in real life days. Because his name is, uh, okay, no, he's not here. This is someone else. Oh, that's on crayfish. That is good to know. The huso uh, is on crayfish bunch and bunch of clamps. Never mind. They're on bunch of clamps too. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I really hope you enjoyed some good fight scene with the Sturge. I hope to see you in the next episode. I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. Something in Iran. Probably I really want to. Uh, like, subscribe, comment below. I will see you in the next episode. Until the next time, guys. Enjoy.